Hi everyone! Today we're going to be talking about an exciting tool called ThingLink. It's a way to create interactive images and videos to share with your students. Let me show you what I mean. So if we scroll down here, you're going to see some beautiful examples of what ThingLink can do. For example, if I click on this history section, you're going to see a thing link pop up and it says beautiful image and as it loads here you're going to see all these dots and when you scroll over them there's extra information there's a picture and a caption sometimes there's a video or a map so it's a really cool way to deliver information to your students so let's get started I'm gonna have some choices um, but for our needs I'm gonna choose the basic free version and then I'm gonna to want to sign up as a teacher and I'm just gonna log in with Google this is my home screen and there's a lot of tools here that we'll get into but for right now I'm going to teach you how to create one of those thing links so we're going to hit the create button up here the first thing we want to do is we want to choose a background image so you can either upload it from your hard drive or drag and drop or we can use a web address I'm going to do the URL and I'm going to enter the image or video URL here and I'm going to hit tag this media my students are just starting a unit on Animal Farm, so I want to sort of front load some of the background information about which characters um, represent their counterparts to the Russian Revolution. I'm going to go ahead and title this Animal Farm Characters, and then I'm ready to start tagging. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this image to create my first tag. And I'm going to be talking about Old Major. And he's kind of the one that got the whole ball rolling in Animal Farm. So I'm going to put him towards the top. And I'm going to click here. And an icon's going to appear. Now I can change the appearance of that icon if I want. Um, and since I want my students to click on that one first, I'm going to make it very obvious and make it a letter A. And then I'm going to paste the link to the information I want them to learn. So you're going to see a little preview show up here. And that looks good. That's the information I wanted them to learn about. And so I'm going to save that. And I have my first tag. I'm going to go ahead and repeat that same process. I'm going to change that letter A to a letter B. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paste in the next piece of information I want them to know. And it's about Joseph Stalin and I'm going to go ahead and save that. So as you can see I repeated the process a couple times and now I'm ready to put my last one in. I'm going to put it here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to change that letter to E. I'm going to paste the link. And you're going to see it's a YouTube video. Um, again the display is here. I'm going to save that. Now I might play around with these icons. Maybe I want to move them over to the corner so that they're not in the middle of the picture. So I can move those around even after I've added the links. I'm going to put these across the top here. There we go. Let's move them all up there in a row. And now my students will very easily be able to work their way through the content I want them to know. The other cool thing about ThingLink is that you can search for content even when you're building. So if I went over here and let's say I Google searched, um, let's say Squealer from Animal Farm, I might be able to find some results. And I do. Here's Squealer's speech. So I could even add that if I wanted to. Right here, I can change this icon and I might make it just a red dot and then the students would have another resource that they could look into. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and save that and show you something else. Down here in the corner they have tutorials all along the way so if you get stuck and you don't exactly know how to do something you can watch a video tutorial that ThingLink has put together. And before we save this image I'm going to want to go ahead and go into settings and make sure that I have them the way I want. So I could make this unlisted or public um, and I don't want to click that allow anyone to edit unless you're doing um, something within your class that you want your students to be able to um, edit the whole thing link together. Let's go ahead and take a look at the advanced settings um, and we can't really do anything there because we don't have the paid version so we're just going to close this out and we can go ahead and save the image. And now you see we have our very first thing link saved under our account. 
just like so many other online tools, ThingLink also has a library that you can search. So if you didn't have enough time to create your own ThingLink, they might have one already created for you. So let's say I am teaching the Diary of Anne Frank. I could search that and see what pops up. And as you can see, a bunch of thing links about Anne Frank popped up. Let's click on one and see what it looks like. Okay, so this one has a lot of different icons, so I bet you has a lot of information. Um, it has pictures, information, um, videos. So this might be a good tool that you could use within your classroom that you didn't have to spend a lot of time creating. Someone already made it for you. So now that we've created a thing link, let's talk about students. Um, if I click on the icon up here, it's going to take me to a section where it talks about my students and my groups. You can see I have no students set up yet, and in order to do that, I need to click on Groups, and I have the Students of Stacy Own B. So I can Manage Group, and there's going to be a code up here, and I can give this code to the students so that they can join my group so that I have a channel where they see the thing links that I want them to see. So once my students have um, joined this group, they can share things within the group that are private that nobody else can kind of get to. It creates a secure environment for your students to interact and collaborate. Um, the way you get to that now is if I wanted to um, create something within that group or if I was a student wanting to create something within that group, I come up here and I choose login as a group and I choose students of Stacey Ownby and you click on it and now I can post things within this group that only my students can see as well as my students work would show up here. Pretty cool, huh? So let's try it out. This time we'll work with a video. So let me click on video. I'm going to add a YouTube link and I'm going to paste it here. This is the same one I used on my thing link for Squealer's speech and I can even tag a video. This is really cool because I can give students information at a very specific moment in the video, um, the moment that will be most beneficial to them. So let's go ahead and try this. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and play this a minute. And I'm going to pause it here. This is where I want to add my first tag. And I'm going to click Add New Tag. Since Squealer represents propaganda, I think I want my students to learn about the different types of propaganda. So I'm going to go ahead and paste a link about that in there, and I'm going to put um, types of propaganda, and I'm going to hit save. And there it is. So I can modify this a little bit. I can go up and I can hit edit tag, and there's going to be some more um, options here. I can actually choose an image file and I can also title it. I can go ahead and hit save. And it's here. I can click read more and it's going to pop up and it's going to give them the information that I want them to learn at that moment. When they're finished they simply go back to the video and they begin watching again until the next tag. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save and exit. And now, within my group, I'm going to have this thing link that I just created on the video of Squealer Speech. You can even see that students can submit comments as well as you, so it's a great place to share the thing links between you and your students and for your students to share it with their other classmates. So those are the basics of ThingLink. It's a great tool to use within your classroom to deliver content to your students, and it's also a great way for students to showcase the work that they've done themselves. And those are just some of the uses. You could find a new use for this every day. And the kids love making them, and they love watching them, and they love engaging in these interactive images and videos. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead and give ThingLink a try in your classroom tomorrow.